Hello, my name is Phil Orlick. I'm here at Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and today I'd like to talk to you about a technology we call All Digital Transmitter. So All Digital Transmitter is a wireless communication technology that we're developing to improve the efficiency and the flexibility of wireless communication devices. Okay? So I'd like to first talk a little bit about how we do wireless communications today. Very simply, a wireless communication device simply takes our information bits, our digital information, sequences of zeros and ones, and converts that through a digital to analog converter into uh, a an analog signal or a radio signal. That radio signal is then tuned to the correct channel or frequency band and then is amplified uh, through a power amplifier so that it can be transmitted over long distances to the intended receiver. Okay, So the fact that this portion, the tuning and the amplifier, is analog, uh, has some restrictions for today's designers. Today we can get an efficiency of about 20 to 30 percent, and we also have to optimize for each of the kinds of signals we wish to transmit. Okay? So today everybody's familiar with their cell phone devices. Uh, this actually contains multiple radios. It contains a 4G radio, a wireless LAN or a Wi-Fi device. It also contains uh, maybe a Bluetooth headset. So, and each one of those requires its own optimized power amplifier and analog circuitry. Okay? So what we are attempting to do here is make our analog circuitry behave more like a digital computer. That allows us to be more flexible in how we uh, compute our signals, but it also allows us to reduce the hardware and the complexity, and that is what we've done here at Merle. So what we do in an all-digital transmitter is we take our uh, bit stream and we use a device from Mitsubishi Electric called a switched mode power amplifier based on gallium nitride technology. And from our bit stream, we directly compute a control sequence that turns the power amplifier on and off. Okay, And this sequence is computed so that we get, at the output of the power amplifier, the desired radio frequency signal. Okay? So not only do we improve efficiency a little bit, we now have the flexibility of combining all of our intended signals into a single device. Okay? And that's what this hardware is doing here. So here we have uh, essentially what would be in our uh, cell phone producing multiple data streams, maybe a cellular signal, a Wi-Fi signal, and possibly other signals. And we're transmitting those uh, on, mo on different frequency bands. Okay? And we can imagine a scenario where perhaps we move to a different country, we travel outside of our uh, home to maybe Europe or Japan, and in those areas, the 4G or the cellular frequency is on a different channel. So rather than needing a different power amplifier and tuning circuit, we can simply recompute what our control sequence is, okay? And then command the, the, the digital portion of our transmitter to change frequencies, okay? And this can be done with uh, a simple command or change of the operating parameters of the processor here. And so you can see we've now uh, increased or moved our uh, one of these channels over uh, to a much higher frequency, uh, but still using the same uh, hardware uh, without any change to the hardware configuration. Okay. So uh, in conclusion, we have uh, developed an all-digital transmitter technology that allows us to reduce the complexity and the amount of circuitry, analog circuitry that's in today's devices, replace that with a single switched mode power amplifier and do the processing uh, in real time. Okay. Obviously this is an uh, uh, experimental prototype testbed. This can be miniaturized and integrated in future uh, communication, mobile communication devices or base station equipment. Thank you.